Hi friends. In this video, I will share my review of a deluxe room in the First World Hotel, Genting Highlands. Earlier I have posted a video of a standard room in this hotel. You will see the link to that video in the description below. Here, I will show how a deluxe room looks like, and how it is different. Let's begin. A deluxe room here, has two extra features, which you will not see in a standard room. These are, an electric kettle with tea coffee supplies, and a mini fridge. Other than these two extra amenities, this room is just like a standard room. There is still no drinking water, and no Wi-Fi internet. Of course, you can step out of the room, and look for these dispensers provided in the corridor. Here, you will get hot and cold water, any time of the day or night. Back in the deluxe room in which I stayed, there was a comfortable queen bed, with a TV in the front. Lucky for me, it had a couple of English channels I could watch. I already mentioned the tea coffee and the fridge. Other than those, there was a personal locker, and a hanger stand for clothes. And to charge my gadgets, there was an international power socket, and even a USB charging outlet. The bathroom was adequate, with a stand-up shower, separated by a door. Hot and cold water in the shower, was available round the clock. The view out of the room, was a nearby building, and nothing else. It was still better than a room without a view. At the time of check-in, you can ask for a room with a mountain view. It will cost some extra money, but trust me, that cost is worth it. The rooms without a view in this hotel, are dark and hot. You should try to get a room with a view, if available. About the things missing here, there is never any air conditioning in the first world hotel. You only get a ceiling fan, which is usually of no help. This is one more reason for trying to get a mountain view room here. You will feel less hot. Price wise, this room can cost between 100 and 300 ringgits, depending on the season. If you have a membership of the resort, you may even get it for free. The check-in time is after 3 pm, and check-out time is before 11 am. It is easy to check out a first world hotel, because you just have to drop your key card in this machine. But doing a check-in here, is another story. Despite the many self-service kiosks, this is how the lobby looks like, around 3 pm. It is the world's largest hotel, with 7351 rooms, and there are queues everywhere. In my view, if you have to pay, to stay in this hotel, you may not be very happy with the deal, no matter how much you pay. But that is how Resorts World Genting is. I would like to have your opinion on this. Please write a comment below, to share your experience, or for any more information, or to leave feedback on this video. And consider giving a thumbs up, if you like the video. You may also want to subscribe to my channel, for more such videos on Malaysia and other countries. Many thanks for watching.